Your feet, they echo upon the flagstones. Your breath stirs the dust. Who are you who walk this hall in the flesh? In life, I was Keladon, first captain of the Company of the Westering Sun. In death, I am nothing. The dead have no titles. You stand within the Hall of Remembrance. I am one of its many prisoners, all soldiers of the Westering Sun, all fallen in battle, all slain by treachery. Our spirits are shackled to the walls and shadows of this tower. We are doomed to stand, to remember, and to wait for Elgrith's release, and our own. Who is Eldrith? Much time has passed, I see, for how many names to have been ground beneath time's heel. Have you not heard of Eldrith the Betrayer? The traitress of swords, Eldrith of the Westering Sun. That she has been forgotten is irony of a sort. You will find her at the top of this tower, at her watch, waiting for battle. She knows you are here, and she has attempted to seal you within this hall, as the stones of the Onyx Tower obey her will. But even as she is the mistress of the tower, our spirits are part of the tower as well. I shall allow the stones of this hall to part so that you may reach her, and I pray, kill her for the last time. I pray the gods favor you. If not, then I fear no one shall be able to stop her. She is a creature of death now. Great powers are hers to command. If you go to face her, then you must be ready in both mind and body. Take your greatest weapons, arm your mightiest spells. That is all the advice I can offer you. Be careful should you choose to lock steel with her. Eldrith was one of the greatest swordsmen ever known, and hers is a murderous will. Be careful you do not approach within striking distance of her blade, or the battle shall be over for you. Still, Eldrith has given much of herself and her spirit to this tower so she could command it. Perhaps you may find strength to defeat her by turning this link against her. If this tower is linked to her, then a blade forged from the walls of this tower and constructed on the Black Forge may be your greatest weapon. of Baldur's Gate once again hound me, and all the way to my sanctuary this time, though it lies a horizon's distance from their walls. Can it be they fear me that much? They have that much wisdom, at least. Then you shall die. I command this tower. I command all within it. All your small victories, all the damage you caused, can be undone. Know that as long as I stand, the war against Baldur's Gate shall continue, and I shall be victorious. You may hold the field, dog, but the day is mine. Now, let us end this.
So it has come to pass that I shall die twice. And this second time shall be the last. I... The tower will not hold. You must leave this place. I ask your forgiveness. I... Let anger cloud my vision. I harmed those who had sworn to serve me. In all these things, great harm has been done. Let Baldur's Gate have its peace. I shall not rise again to challenge it, though it will doubtless need others such as you to defend it from others that wish it hard. Now, leave me to die. This tower shall be my tomb. flash of the portal's light, Eldrith's tower was no more. Lightning rained upon the tower, and flames as if from within. And thus, in a storm of fire and lightning, Eldrith died her second death. But it was all part of a much larger design. It is done. Eldrith is undone. And her threat to us and our plans has been ended. And the harper that defeated her, killed. Now we may continue without interference, Master. Where did the portal lead? It led to a far distant land, far from Baldur's Gate, far from the Sunset Mountains, far from the Marsh of Chalimber, and far from safety. But that is a tale for another time.